Hello and welcome. My name is Dan Pfeiffer and today we will be analyzing a four bar mechanism using MathCAD Prime uh, to solve a system of equations. So the uh, question that we're looking at is here we have a generalized uh, four bar mechanism with a top and a bottom solution. Um, now a trick that I use a lot is to use the snipping tool which is if you go here and then type snip S -N -I -P, you'll see it up there it'll come up as the programs. I have it just, I use it so much I keep it in my uh, toolbar quick links and then you click new and when the screen grays out you're ready to go. You uh, select where you want to start and then essentially what you do, you're, you're doing here is taking a screenshot without having to crop it. Uh, so make sure that the uh, file you want is on top and then uh, you'll go ahead and switch over to your other program that you want to paste it in and go ahead and paste it right there. And now it's in my file. Now if I wanted this smaller, so let's go ahead and delete that region. If I wanted this smaller, what I could do is um, even zoom out a little bit farther and then take my snip and now paste it and it'll be a little bit more manageable to fit on the page. Alright, so one of the first things we want to do all the time when we uh, make a new file is to save it. So I'm going to go up to the top here and go to save as so I can name this file 4-bar analysis and then I'm going to replace it. Now um, the next step is putting your name on there. I think the best way to do this is to go over to Documents, and in the Document subfolder or sub toolbar, there's a header button. You click that. Now, I want to add text, so I'm going to push Control T to add a text block, or you can also click text box here, and then it allows you a little more freedom in typing. Then when we're finished, we close the header. You can also do things like click over here and add page number, page blank of blank. Okay, so just little things that you want to do there. Now, in order to move one of these fields, you'll notice that if it's like this and it has the two arrows, that changes the size of the field. But if it has the crosshairs like that, then you can move the field. So let's go ahead and get some data for this uh, particular four bar mechanism. And we're going to look at row A here. So again, I'll use my snipping tool to pull data into my file for row A. All right, the next step is to start assigning our known values and uh, then we'll have to kind of think about what we don't know. So here we have all of our link lengths. We have theta 2 and we know that it is not offset so theta 1 is equal to 0. So let's call each of those um, R1. Now to use the subscript um, in MathCAD 15, I believe it's the period and then uh, type the subscript. In uh, MathCAD Prime, you have to push Control minus. Um, I've set this to a macro on my mouse cursor here so that one of my many buttons on my mouse does just Control minus. And then uh, use the colon. This, this colon equals is assigning a value to it. So uh, let's just go ahead and do six. I don't know. There's no units, but Ideally, when you're working in MathCAD, you're going to want to use units because it'll help show uh, problems in your equations later when the output isn't in the units that you expect it to be in. So we're going to go ahead and use units today. Uh, so R2 was 2. And to save some space, I'm going to put R3 here. It does matter where you put the uh, 
variables, but in this case we are only assigning variables, we're not using variables, so it's okay if they're not all vertical. Meters, go back, meters, meters, all right. Now theta, you push Q, control G to get theta. Now this is in 30 degrees. Uh, MathCAD does recognize degrees. Uh, you just have to find it though in the math units angle degrees. So we can leave it like that, but if we don't put it in there by default, all of the trig functions will go in radians, uh, so you would have to convert that to radians using something something like this. FAC would be pi over 180 and then units degrees. So we could just do uh, this times fact, and then now it would again, like I was talking about before, it matters if you're uh, using a variable. Here it's going to go from left to right. So if I take this and I move it down, now it recognizes what FAC is because it goes top to bottom, left to right. So it would go in this order. Um, but I'm not going to do that this particular day. I'm going to just try leaving everything in degrees and see how it goes. A little experiment. And then theta 1 is 0 degrees. Okay, so I'm going to make a text box to about what we do not know. Don't know theta 3 and theta 4. Okay, again, if your box is not long enough, you can make it longer and then move it wherever you want. Right, so we're going to use the general loop idea um, where vector R2 goes from here to here, R3 to there, R1 goes in this direction, and R4 goes in this direction. So it would be R1, R2 plus R3 minus R4 minus R1 would give us a distance of 0. So I'm going to make a little text note of that also. Our, the problem is uh, subscripting in uh, text boxes is not as easy, so I just leave it as that. R2 plus R3 minus R4 minus R1 equals 0. Now if I use an equal sign in a text box, it really does no effect on any of the computations. This is just a note from for either me to myself or me to my professor to show my work. So now we have to uh, set a system of equations because we have two unknown variables, uh, so we need two equations. Now in MathCAD 15 you would write given and then you would write your given information and your guess values uh, and then you would write find at the bottom but in MathCAD Prime you have to use what are called solve blocks and you click solve block first and now the, let's type in some guess values uh, theta 3 let's say is we're going to use the top solution is something like 30 degrees maybe? I, I don't know. So we'll go ahead and guess 30 degrees. And then theta 4 is equal to... Now notice I didn't put the colon there. I used the wrong equal sign. I'll show, talk about what each equal sign means as we get to it. Use the colon is something like, I don't know, 110. Okay, now our constraints. Um, if we look at the way that this is set up, 
we could do R2 times the cosine of theta2 to get the x component of R2. And since all of the other values work the same way, we can go ahead and uh, just type them in like that. R1. Now, you do want to put a times symbol here so it doesn't think it's just a different variable times the cosine of parentheses theta1 plus r2 times the cosine of parentheses theta2 plus minus r3 times the cosine theta 3 minus the cosine r4 times the cosine of theta 4. And now we want to set that equal to 0, but we don't want to use the normal equal sign. You press Control equals, and this makes a bold equal sign setting a relationship. So <coughs> this is so far the only real use I've found for that is in solve blocks. Um, R2. Now instead of typing all of that again, Control A, Control C, Control V. Delete sign. You'd think you could just overwrite here, but you can't. You actually have to push delete. It's not exactly like word processing. Okay, so now we have our constraints. We have some guess values for the computer to use the algorithm to uh, iterate through. And now we want to find theta, oops, I have another macro set times 10 to the, um, theta 3 and theta 4. Alright, then we want to actually just push the regular equal sign so that it operates. Now it outputs it in uh, radians, so if we go back and uh, we want it to be in degrees, we can probably change it in here, but what we're going to do is that factor trick that I showed you earlier, FAC colon pi over 180. So then if I take this whole thing, I press spacebar once, it selects one variable. Keep pressing spacebar until you've selected the entire thing. Now, if um, my cursor is on the left side and I push divided by, it's going to go on the bottom, but I want my cursor on the right side push spacebar, now I push divided by, and then you go ahead and type your factor in there. Alright, so we've gotten our uh, outputs of theta 3 and theta 4. So this is showing me, looks like the down solution, because I put 110. And then we can change our guess values by just saying, okay, if this was zero and this was zero, how would that change my output? And it would give me a different solution for theta three and theta four. And that's about all there is to solve blocks. Right, so it's going to give you whichever one it's closer to. Um, again, this is. Uh, my email address and if you have questions about how to set up the problems or how to work uh, the MathCAD feel free to email me. Thanks for watching.